everybody and welcome to the Circle Summer Series. Thanks for joining us. We've got some great fun and laughs for you today. And guess where I am? I'm at a doggy deli. Diamond Dog Food and Bakery, yes. Look at all the treats here. And we're going to be talking to the people that actually bake these for the dogs, which is fantastic. So if you've never seen the show before, stick around. You're in for some fun. There's plenty more to come. Yes, you're watching The Circle and we'll be back after the break. You might think it's just another chick flick, but no, we're talking about Bridesmaid and it features Australia's own Rose Byrne. Shortly, we're going to relive the Challenge Host Burger competition. And remember, we needed a really special judge because he had to choose between the four of us. Anyway, see you after the break. Still reckon my hamburger was good. <laughs> That's Monty that you're looking at, and I'm with Alice, who is part of the Diamond Dog Food and Bakery Enterprise. Is it an enterprise yet? Uh, not just yet. <laughs> and you do, you do this with your husband? Yes. Yeah, there's just the three of us, me, Philip and Monty. And he's the taste tester? He's the taste tester. He's in charge of marketing, meeting and greeting, <laughs> uh, quality control. Yes, yes, of course. He, he has quite a few jobs in the business. And how long have you been open? Uh, since November last year. And how's it going? Very well. Because you do doggy parties. Yes. You cater for... How many do you cater for? It doesn't matter. Uh, well, probably two or three a week parties. Oh. We do a lot of birthday cakes. We probably eight to fifteen birthday cakes a week, depending on I how many. I was actually asking how many dogs do you cater for? Oh, but that's well. a lot of parties, isn't <laughs> yes. it? Yeah, people have really got onto the party scene for their dogs. Um, uh, and what do they get at the, at the party? Uh, well, they get all the treats. They get things like pepperoni <laughs> pizza, they get hot dogs, they get donuts. Oh, he's lost uh, interest now. Muffins. Oh, no, he's trying a different approach. Yes, he thought he'd be more <laughs> subtle about it. Uh, birthday cake, obviously. Yeah. Um, and doggy ice cream. I saw that yeah. in the back fridge there. What flavour is it? Peanut butter. Oh, We've so decided that's the favourite. And could we eat these if we wanted to? Yes. It's all human grade food, but you may not like the taste as much. There's no added sugar, salt, fat, all the things that we so unfortunately like. Everything that you bake is really good for them, isn't it? Yes. Because it's got all yes. healthy stuff. Yeah, we add the chia flour and chia seed for them. Which was one of the things that has come out lately that very good for humans. Very good. And all the properties that are good for humans are fantastic for our dogs as well. So It's going to last 100 dog years. We're hoping. Won't you, Monty? <laughs> He's dribbling a bit. Do you think What's, we should give him a donut? I think so. You've <laughs> been such a good boy. But yeah. while you're doing that, we've got something for you that you might like to buy. Whoop. Raylene Boyle is one of my favourite people and she's a true Aussie legend. She's battled ovarian cancer and breast cancer and come through the other side. And she also celebrated her 60th birthday this year. Thanks for joining, Monty. Look around at the camera. How do you expect to get your own show if I can't see... Thanks for joining us anyway. We'll be back after the break. <laughs> Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 la. Look, we've got Christmas tree. We've got puddings and everything. I bet Rick Price would like one of them, but he's just going to sing. <laughs> <laughs> Alice, you've become very, very upmarket here. Now, yes. what is this? Uh, Moroccan lamb. Nice. Bickies. Yes, yes, these are all the, the, the boutique biscuit range. So yes. it's slightly for more upmarket dogs. Yes. Uh, Moroccan lamb's a little bit spicy. You've got your kangaroo <laughs> and rosemary, which they do love their roux. Yes. And for the sweet tooth, you've got your carob chip. That's fantastic. And you make all of those, yes. don't you? So yes, it's all made here. It's all very healthy yep. and no preservatives. Ah, so, that's good. Yeah. Now, just moving up a little bit, if we can just see... These are my favourite range of toys. I just think they're <laughs> fabulous. Look at this and listen. I wouldn't mind munching on that myself in front of the towel. It keeps them occupied Do for they ages. All... <laughs> Different noises. <laughs> What's that one? The fish and water. 
Oh, aren't they cute? <laughs> oh, spoiled dogs, but we love our dogs. Alice, thanks very much. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Squirrel, Ruff. Thank you very much. We'll be back after the break. <laughs> Thanks, Alice. All the way from Tennessee, Sue Fabish wrote about what she knows about, which is motherhood, and motherhood, the musical, hit Australia. There's more to come from Rick Price, and also we find out who the winner is with our host cook-off. But right now, I'm having some doggy ice cream. Peanut butter. Mmm, yum! Okay. Thanks for joining Monty and I today. Is this your bed I'm sitting on? Or do you sit in one of these? They're nice, aren't they? Very comfy. You're very spoiled. There are more highlights to come on the Circle series. Now, keep still and say goodbye to everybody. Do you? Yeah, come on. We'll see you another time. Have a great day wherever you are. Be safe near the water. Hang on. Hang on, I was going to get him. Oh. Bye. Bye-bye. See ya.